Hey everyone, I'm Spider-Man 1991 and I like to read comic books. So I thought I'd make a video about a recent graphic novel series I read, which is Brian Michael Bendis' run on Daredevil, The Man Without Fear. Um, basically, Bendis, basically, Brian Michael Bendis took over, took over the Daredevil title after it was relaunched with ish, starting with issue number 16 and he wrote and he wrote almost every and he wrote almost every issue uh, with the exception of 20 to 25, but he wrote all the way from 16 to 19 and 26 to 81. And ba and a lot of interesting things did happen during Bendis' run. Uh, this was the story, this was the run where Matt Murdock's identity became public knowledge, like when it was first uh, revealed in the Daily Globe, Globe, because one of the guys who worked for the Kingpin decided to, decided to do something with this information. Um, we also also the kingpin is involved in this. At first, uh, at the beginning, kingpin's doing work as usual, but then uh, someone makes one of his uh, someone who works for the kingpin talks to Richard Fisk's son and gets who formerly known as the Rose and gets him to turn against kingpin and try to take over, leading to the fall, leading to kingpin almost dying. But then uh, slowly he gets back slowly he gets back up, then starts to make a comeback in Hell's Kitchen. Right before Daredevil finds him again and decides to, and really lays it to him, which leads to, da oh, and also leading up to his confrontation with the Kingpin, uh, Daredevil has another fight with Bullseye, and probably one of I think the best Bullseye fights. As we hear, we hear what's going on through Matt's head as he's fighting Bullseye, and he's like, and I, th and also Daredevil's like really laying, laying it hard to Bullseye in this issue. Like he's thinking really, like thinking really hard how much he wants to end Bullseye, and. Also, we get, and also, he, also when Daredevil takes, takes down the King Wilson Fisk again, he automatically declares himself the new kingpin of Hell's Kitchen. Like, basically, he tells, well, basically, he's, and when everyone hears about this, like, all the other Marvel heroes, uh, Cap, Steve Rogers, Luke Cage, Peter Parker, and Dr. Stephen Strange, they go and confront Matt about this, like, what are you doing? But Matt says, he's only doing this just just to maintain order and says that you know everyone else should try this try this it really works but everyone's like you're only focused on hell's kitchen we're kind of focused on like the bigger picture like all of new york all of the planet and stuff like that and of course daredevil kind of blows him off and well not completely because he still gets help from luke cage with uh being his bodyguard and stuff with all the tabloids and the press with his identity and such also uh the character mila mila donovan is introduced in this run and the, and she's the woman that Matt, who becomes the wife of Matt Murdock, but then they get divorced, and then make up again. Um, yeah, and um, at the end, and the interesting thing here is at the the way Bendis ends his run, because uh, the way because when you get to the end of his run and then you read the afterwards where Bendis explains things, it's kind of how he wanted things to go and how he wanted to like set things up for the next guy who would take over, which was who was Ed Brubaker. <laughs> so. And um, I'd really, I'm going to say, and you know, I'm not going to talk about that because I want to save it because this is a very, very good, interesting run uh, by Brian on Daredevil. Um, it's very street level. I, I say that a lot because Daredevil's not really dealing with, is mostly dealing with the king, he's dealing with the kingpin and also kingpin want, guys who are trying to take the kingpin's place, such as the owl. So it's very all, it's pretty street level heroics. Like you don't really get a lot of big, you don't really get, much super villains with like you know the flash costumes and the big names you just get like average guys and also it's Dar also Matt Murdock is dealing with having his identity revealed he's trying to deny it but there's proof and everything so he's it's getting very difficult for him um, and you know honestly when I was reading this it felt a lot it felt very similar it felt similar to Frank Miller's work on Daredevil but not so much that it's just a ba another retelling or it's trying to steal from that it's sort of sort of has the same atmosphere as you know what Miller what what Miller did and it's it's kind of and there is some dark I'm not gonna lie though there is some dark stuff to this but overall it's a very great it's very great um also I will say this uh Brian Michael Bendis he does all his issues are pretty heavy on dialogue like almost in every panel in every page someone there's always words it, it, whether it's dialogue between two characters or just inner thoughts of the character who's narrating the book. But there's a lot of that. 
So, so yeah, but um, also, but this overall, Bendis' run is very great. Um, if you love Daredevil as a street, as a street, as more of a street level hero, which I think is where Daredevil, which I always say Daredevil is best when he's just dealing with, like, you know, usual street level stuff and more realistic crimes like drug, like drug dealers and stuff like that. Then this is definitely a run you should check. You should check out. Um, it's been it's been collected in almost at least three times. There have been individual tra trades for each story arc. There ha there's also been a couple omnibuses. And what I and what I got was the ultimate ver was the ultimate collection edition, which is basically in three paperback volumes. And you get not only the issues Bendis wrote, but for the third volume, it includes the what if. What if Karen Page had lived? One shot, and also for some reason they included the Ultimate Marvel Team Up, uh, and U Ultimate Marvel Team Up six through eight, which I guess because it's the Ultimate version of Daredevil, but I really don't think that's relevant. But overall, um, still a great. Overall, these are great. These these are great issues. Um, I think Bendis. I really like, and I'm not really a big fan. Of, and a lot of Brian Michael Bendis' stuff for me has been. Uh, hit or miss, but I have to say I love him on Daredevil. I think this is where he's where he's done a lot of his best work on here, and I think probably after after his work on Daredevil got probably got him to his job on New Avengers and stuff. So yeah, um, overall, this is if you are a Daredevil fan, if you're a Brian Michael Bendis fan, then you should definitely check out his run on Daredevil. It's it's amazing. So yeah, um, that's it for me. Thank you for watching this video. Uh, hope, hopefully you'll be inspired to check out Daredevil. Um, I don't know if I'm going to do more of, more of these videos where I talk about a particular writer's run on a series. If you want me to do something like that, uh, let me comment below about what you want me to talk. Give me a writer or a series you think I should talk about. So thanks again for watching. Thanks for subscribing to my channel. I'm Spider-Man1991 saying see you later.